This is the Pearson Edexcel IAL, Mathematics Pure Math 2 from January 2023 paper. Um, this video will be doing question 10, which is the proving by exhaustion. Let's take a look. Okay, question 10 states to prove the following by exhaustion. So it says that n is an integer. So that means it's uh, negative or positive uh, whole numbers. Then if this is true, then um, the student says that this will never be divisible or not be divisible by three if n is an integer. Um, uh, so then it gives this extra layer of information, consider n equal to 3k. So this is where my students get very unhappy and they see something like this in an exam. Um, so, okay, it gives, this is the case where n is equal to 3k and it's got three options of what it does so if we look, this is the first one which is just our what the proof we were given and then it changes it a bit so it makes n equal to 3k so when n is equal to 3k times n is the second layer here then it takes out three as a common factor separating it and as you can see in the proof if you can see, three divides into the first bit, nice and neat over here, but there's a plus one, which disproves it. So therefore it's not divisible by three because of this plus one. So that's your proof that you're aiming to do. And you've got to complete the proof yourself. Okay, so let's, let's take a look. First thing I want to take a look at is this, this bit that it says in the beginning, so it's number 10. If we look at it in a little bit more detail, uh, just to quickly, what I see there is that they did n plus one, and then this this is just what was given, and then the middle step that isn't shown here is that uh, two times three k squared plus three k plus one, so they subbed n equal to three k, okay. Oh, that should be a one. Right. Um, then timesing that out, two times three, is, excuse me, three squared is nine, nine times two is 18, K squared. So 18, K, K squared is K squared. Plus three K plus one. So that's the middle part. And then this last part, if you, you can group it, and you take out three as a common factor just from these two, and you get 6k squared uh, plus k. And there's our factor of three plus one. Oopsie. So it doesn't, it's not divisible by three. That was all given. That's not part of our answer. It's just the, what was given. So not divisible by three because of that. Okay. So we have this three n equal to three k and they expect you to try at least two other tries as a part of the proof. You have any proof you need to have two other two tries is for four marks. So two tries. So the first thing is you want to take care of is even and odd numbers. So if you take a look at um if uh, n is equal to 3k, then if you want this to be, for example, if we let k equal to 1, it would be 3. And if we let k equal to 2, it would be 6 and so on. That's that's all um, even. So to make it odd, we could plus 1 to this. Okay. So first one I'm going to try is to make it uh, 6 plus 1 would be 7, but make it an odd number. And let's take a look if it's going to all be integers. Um, needs to, the answers need to be not divisible by 3. Uh, so n is an integer, but it's an odd integer, and it needs to not be divisible by 3. So I'm going to follow the same pattern that I did 
in this first part here. Let's take a look. So we have 2n squared plus n plus 1. And we're going to let n equal 3k plus 1. So wherever we see an n, we write 3k plus 1. So uh, 2, 3k plus 1 squared, 3k plus 1 plus 1. Let's just go to this. Right. This is our first, uh, this is our first try. Yeah, first try in the proof. What does this come to? Well, first we square the brackets. So it's two, three K squared is nine K squared. Uh, and the middle terms is three K times by one times by two, because there's two of them. Remember we, it's what we're actually doing is this. And there's two, three Ks. Okay, for the inner and outer term. So we have plus six K and plus one. And then this just the plus nothing changes here. So it's just three K plus one plus another one. Okay. Quickly times in the two. 18 K squared. Two times six is 12 K. Two times one is two plus three K plus two. Add like terms, 18K squared just stays the same. Then we have the like terms for K. So 3K plus 12K is plus 15K plus four. Like terms two and two, two plus two is four. So here we have, we so far we haven't proved anything. Now I'm going to take out three as a common factor. And before I do that, I'm going to split this four up into four and three and one so that I can take out three as a common factor. So 15K plus three plus one. So now I can take out three as a common factor, including the constant. So I can take it out from here. So just to split four into three plus one. Okay. What do we have? So three times six, so six K squared, 15 is five K plus one and plus one. So here's our proof again. This is not divisible by three. Okay. We we'll try one more thing. We're gonna do three K minus one. Um, so we did do our last try, our, our, well, our second try. The second try, uh, 3k minus 1 is equal to n. All right. We start off with n. Just grab that from the previous proof. 2n squared plus n plus 1. 2n squared plus n plus 1. And we sub in 3k minus 1. Uh, 3k minus 1. Okay, so we're trying a different option. Again, uh, this a uh, lot of most of my students hate these because when you go into the exam, you have no idea what to do. Uh, but this is one method to try and do it. So I'm minusing one from, from the answer. Um, what do we have here? We have 2, 3k minus 1 squared plus 3k minus 1. All right, plus one. They're pretty lenient on making silly mistakes in the proofs here. Um, they just want you to try out different options of integers. So two, three K squared is nine K squared minus one times three times two is minus six K. And minus one times minus one is a plus one. Plus three K, keep those brackets there, minus one, plus one. Okay, so that cancels out. We keep these brackets because the two is still there. Times in the two in, two times nine is 18 K squared, minus 12 K plus two, plus three K. Right. 
any like terms. We indeed have k's that are like terms. So 18k squared uh, minus 12 plus 3 is, is minus 9k plus 2. And here again, um, uh, we can take out three as a common, we can't take three out of, as a common factor for this two. We can't split it up like we did in the previous one. So we just take three as a common factor from grouping those first two. So three is uh, left over would be 6K um, squared minus 3K plus two. And again, this one is not divisible. Okay. This one is not divisible by three. So they just want you to, in these questions, end your proof with some sort of conclusion. You've tried the options. You've tried two different things. You've uh, you've acknowledged you, this part of the, this first part of the working, you don't have to write. This was just to for teaching purposes. So the working starts with your first try, try something. Let's just check. So we more or less covered all the uh, it's negative or positive, not divisible by three. N has to be negative. Or, uh, it can be negative or positive. K. Um, yeah, I think we more or less covered everything. So just that statement at the end. So complete the proof. The proof was proof by exhaustion, not divisible by three. So it just requires that you write a sentence at the end. And the sentence is, uh, therefore, 2n squared plus n plus 1 is not divisible by 3 by my fantastic proof. Thank you very much. And that concludes question 10. And also the this, this January 2023 paper from this year for Pure Math 2 of the IAL at Excel. Fantastic. <laughs>